Hey guys, so it looks like my mojo is back for a little bit. Um, I did get a chance to craft today and I wanted to share with you what I made because I was very eager to play with my paper tray ink make it market kit. That's what these dies are from. Um, so this is a sheet of magnet. This is one of those crafters companion magnet sheets that goes in the binders. I don't store them in the binders, but these are big enough to hold everything that I want to store. Um, so this is the, um, minus this one right here. This is the post postal box. Um, it makes a three dimensional postal box, like the vintage kind. Um, this is the body of it. And then this is the back piece and this is the lid. And then you also can use a little latch with a lock on it. And then this cuts the slit. I kind of tried to put them in a place where you'd see them. I use this little tiny postage stamp, um, that I believe is also a paper tray ink die, but I bought this separately from a person on eBay with um, a set of stamps. So um, I'll show you this, the stamp set too, um, but that's not in the kit, just in case anybody's wondering. This is also, um, this is the add-on envelope die right here, and then this is the a little note card that fits in the postal box. This, this piece in, inside comes in the kit but the envelope does not. You have to buy that separately. So I just put that here so you would see that. Um, I used a couple of stamp sets. This one I've had for a very long time. I don't even think I've ever inked it up. See, this is one of those things that a lot of people ask me when I'm shopping or when they're looking at my hauls. The first thing they say is you shop a lot or what are you going to do with all this stuff? I don't always have a project in mind, but I know at some point that I will probably want to use that stamp set. So I'm on the other end of the spectrum where some people are like, uh, I never use it, so I have to get rid of it. Well, I'm on the other end of the spectrum, which is I may want to use it at some point in time because I like it. So I will keep it in my stash until that time comes and the time has come. So I used one of these postcard stamp sets and it just does like a postcard that's kind of vintage. So um, there's the um, number. So that's a very old stamp set I'm assuming. Okay, this is a stamp set that I bought um, off of an eBay seller. Um, as I said, this is the one that came with the little stamp die. It fits this stamp here and here. Uh, and then I use this little crown inside of this set right here. Um, what else did I use? I used the postage clear. What do you call that? And I don't know what they call it. The, when they clear a postage, you know, at the post office. I forgot what it's called. And then I use one of these circles here that says um, special delivery. And so that's what I used on this set. And I actually don't even know the name of the set, but you could tell that this person had used this a lot. It's perfectly fine. I don't have an issue with the color or the, um, you know, the color that the stamp set is turning. It's photopolymer, so that's what they do. Here is the set of stamps that come in the Make It Market kit. I didn't use any of these this time around. I did use the stencil, um, the post stencil. Um, not on my finished project, but on one I first made as my sample. And with it, I used some of the Heidi Swap um, reactive screen ink. So I did use this to try and see if I'd like it. Um, it didn't turn out as, as good as I wanted it to, and I'll show it to you. Um, here is what the, the dies make. It makes this little tiny post box. Um, it's, it's, it's about the size of my palm here, if you look at it. It's um, really cute. So this is tilde paper. Um, and you can see where it says post, that's the um, embossing paste that I put, not embossing paste, the screen ink from Heidi Swap that is reactive. And so you put the, you know, the stencil down and then you push the ink through. And then when it dries, what I have done is emboss, not embossed, gold foiled it with my laminator, my mink. Um, and this is the champagne colored foil. It's not the gold foil. It's a champagne color, so it gives it a softer color. The gold is a um, brighter color than this um, turned out to be. And I don't know if I can show it to you. I have my transfer thing right here. See how that is? 
it's it's not a really bright brassy gold well if it was brass and it would look different right um so that's what i used to make this box uh and then you can see this little lock here instead of using the paper lock i had ordered these locks some time ago from craft consortium and this is the it's called the wedding collection that it came from always and forever and yeah it's from craft consortium now these locks charms don't open so what i did was i cut a slit at the top of the little hasp at the top so that i could just hook it through and it could hang down to keep the box closed um i was just playing around to see how it would look um just as you know so i would know for the future if i want to make some of these okay so now my finished project which I want to share with you is this. I'll bring it closer. So here is the mailbox again and this paper is from Craft Consortium and it is Tanya Whalen paper. So if you guys are looking for this I believe your scrapbook supply still has this. Um, so you can order it online and it's from this paper pad. It's not as thick as the tilde paper, but it's still very good quality and it's double sided. So, um, that's what I've used here. So what you're going to see is that there's the paper lock that comes in the die set and there's the, the little latch. And then this little laurel right here is a spellbinders die. It is in this set right here. So it's got a B with it. It's called Laurel and B. And I had to do a little creative cutting um, of the leaves on the inside just um, to allow for the room of the word post. And again, this is one of those things where I've had this die, this set of alpha dies in my um, stash for a very long time. I didn't think I would ever use it. Well, I knew I would use it at some point. So now I have. And... Um, I've said before that I am not a Halloween person, um, but I have this die anyway, because <laughs> I probably got it at a good price. Um, this is an alpha die. It also has numbers on it. So one of the things I was thinking was if I send this to somebody, I could also put their address on the mailbox. That would be fun too, right? So there's, there's numbers in here. And the name of this is the um, Tim Holtz Alterations Spooktacular. So let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So you can see the number there if you're interested in purchasing this. The reason I p chose this one is because the font here is kind of like what you would normally see on a mailbox. And as I've said before, I have, um, my husband and I have a vintage mailbox. Well, not it's not vintage. Vintage looking mailbox. And I asked him today where he got it from. <laughs> he... He said the house needed a bigger mailbox, so he went online to find one after looking around for one that he wanted. Um, and this one called to him. I'm going to put in a picture of our mailbox in the video right here. And... Um, our mailbox, he ordered from Lillian Vernon online. I don't even know if that company's still around, but um, he liked the look of that box and it was a larger box to fit, you know, things like those, um, uh, those puffy mailers that are the flat rate mail um, priority um, padded envelopes. Those actually fit in our mailbox. Um, so if we get one of those, the mailman can stuff it in there and it doesn't get stuck. So, um, I had used this die. Then I used a bunch of things for my stash, which I'm really proud of doing. Again, um, those of you that know me well know that I love ink. So these two um, ink colors are what I used on the card on the inside of the mailbox. Mellow Moss and um, Mauve Mist because it matches the paper color. Um, and then I used this Lawn Fawn Storm Cloud stamped off um, to do the cancellation of the postmark so let me show you that um, up close so again here is the little lock and the lock is um, open so you can actually slide it off and it's just to keep that latch closed and then 
I used, um, again, that laurel. There's the word post. Um, that was fun to try and line up. I used my T-square. And then this little piece of, this little envelope I created using the die. And I went so far as to create the cancellation of the postmark. There's a little postage stamp I created um, from the stamp set that I showed you. And then the envelope is created again from the die that comes um, separately from the kit, but you can order it. And then on the inside, I have not decided how I'm going to do this, but I did cut the card and I did stamp that card with a uh, postcard looking stamp. And I showed you that stamp. And then here is a die cut from Lawn Fawn that I was thinking about just sticking down here on the card um, so I can just sign a little note um, to the person I'm going to be sending this to. Um, so the nice thing about the envelope is it has its little half moon shape here that cuts out when you cut it and you can just close that up. Now let me show you the inside of the mailbox. Um, it is double-sided paper as I said so the inside of the mailbox is actually that same white you can see here um, it's that same white down in there um, this is that back of the the mailbox so um, anyway that is my little project share for you today and I'm glad that my mojo is back for a little bit to allow me to craft some things that I think are just so cute and um, yeah, I really enjoyed myself today and I now have to clean up my big mess because I've not just been working on this. I've been doing other things as well. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.